What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we're taking a look at Ghost Rider's car, or Ghost Rider's hot rod here. And um, yeah, with this hot rod, we're gonna look at the hot rod first and then we'll take a look at the figures after. Um, but with this hot rod, um, he has some stuff on the bottom. You can't see that. Uh, some lights on the bottom there. And um, some lights there. No stickers I used on this car, which is quite surprising. But we have a little grill at the front there and with the engine. They are stud shooters, which you can fire each individually. Um, by pressing the dart, grab it, and it'll shoot the orange out. You can take this, like, lid off and feet sit one minifigure on the inside. Um, it's quite easy to take off, so I'm glad of that. The back wheels are bigger than the front wheels to give it that, like, hot rod muscle car vibe. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if you modified it by taking this off and, like, just put a black plate there, you could turn it into Dominic Toretto's car from Fast and the Furious. Um, it does look like his car. Um, so if we just took off the fat engine here, which is quite easy to remove, it only sticks on here. Um, you could transform it to Dominic Toretto's car. Um, you can morph it into the flame version, but I'm not going to do that because I prefer it in this thing, and, um, all my flame is downstairs. Uh, so I'm sorry this isn't, like, a full review and I couldn't do the flame version. Um, I prefer this muscle car version, but I'm just letting you know there is that alternate version for you. Um, if you prefer the flames. Um... It's a cool car, rolls around. Uh, I like, I don't necessarily like the vehicle builds, but in the vehicle builds they do put in some cool minifigures. And with this one, um, I actually like the build for this hot rod. Um, I don't mind it. Um, it looks quite cool. It's quite small as well, it isn't like an oversized vehicle. It is quite decently sized. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's move on to the figures. Uh, I just gotta lift this up so my you can see my figures because my stand is quite big. Um, we're gonna start off with the Spider-Man of the set, if I can find him, which is here. Oh, we're gonna have to raise this a bit higher. Uh, which is a new Spider-Man, shocking to me. Um, he's a new Spider-Man with some new arm printing here, and uh, if I compare it to Spider-Man from last year's wave, his lines are a lot thicker. Like. The webbing on his suit is a lot thicker. And the eyes are also changed a bit as well. Um, I like this new one, however, he doesn't have the leg printing. He doesn't have the dual molded blue and red legs. So I'm quite disappointed that we didn't get that, but we did get arm printing the Spider-Man. Which is quite a rare occurrence. Um, and yes, he does have these, which you can push, and they'll shoot out. Um, yeah, they're just like the web she was... Uh, but that gives, gives you a better look at the arm printing here. Overall, really cool Spider-Man, and I do appreciate the arm printing and the new torso and head. Uh, moving on to the next figure, which is Carnage over here. He does have these... It's the same Carnage from last year. Uh, last year's two sets, um, but he has these massive tentacle things. Um, they use the dark red robot arms and the outright of back thing and these red... Spikes. I don't know what to call them. Like, Venom Pieces. They used in, like, many other things. It's, like, fire and stuff, but I know them as the Venom Pieces. Um, yeah, that's it for Carnage. No back... Like, he has some back toss up printing, but you've seen it before. It's the same figure uh, from the Miles Morales motorbike chase and the Venom Crawler. I think he was in that set. I don't know. I know I have three of him, so I know he's in three sets. Because uh, I didn't get the same one twice. And here is the Ghost Rider of the set. Uh, which is a really cool face print. It's more like a metal head instead of a, you know, a ghost, like a skull. Uh, and I kind of like that. No arm printing or leg printing on this figure. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, he's got a cool head print. Uh, Alright. You cannot take this fire off, by the way. It's stuck to him. Uh, and he's some nice back tosser printing here with his leather jacket. Um... People did say it looked like a certain Ghost Rider, but I don't remember which one. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like. This, like, metal one with the sharp teeth or the skull. I think I'm going to go with the skull one better. Um, but this is a really cool version of Ghost Rider. And he's only ever come in, like, one set before, so I'm glad we're getting another one. And it's a different version. Uh, or a different Ghost Rider itself. Because I know there is more than one. Uh, so this could be a different Ghost Rider in general, and I'm glad we're getting them. Uh, it's just really cool. Um, but other than that, I don't have anything else to say about this set, so I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time. Have a stay, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.